So, we're all sorted. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to pull your seat forward a bit? There you go. Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video and today is something quite quite exciting actually we've got the first uh, episode of a brand new series dream drives now basically well it is quite a self-explanatory name really um, just a series of me experience various cars um, and just documenting them on one series now today the first episode I'm joined with an Alpha 4C now it, it's quite a recognizable car because uh, I'm joined by Steph come on in buddy come into shop here he is hello again now funnily enough the first um, wait, how am I going to say this? The first episode of Hot Hatch Head to Head also featured yourself. It did. And now the first episode of Dream Drives. Just featuring yourself. It's like we, it's like we, we test the water wait. with my videos. And <laughs> yeah. if they do really crap, then we, we kill this series. <laughs> is, that, is that a theme yeah. here? Okay. <laughs> nice way, to know. Thanks, mate. <laughs> congratulations on this. Thank you, mate. It looks Thank you. Class, honestly. Thank you. Um, it, so before filming here, we kind of met and we kind of did a little bit of a convoy and it looks so good on the road. Yeah. It really does. Really excited to get behind the wheel of one because there's a little bit of a story behind the 4C, which I'll uh, get onto a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, I'll hand you over to you. We'll run around the car. Cool. Uh, bits and bobs, because I don't really know much about it. Nor do I, but we'll run with it. <laughs> I'm only joking, I do. Yeah, cool. And then we'll, um, we'll get stuck into video. Yeah, sounds good. like a plan. Yeah. yeah. So what do we have here then? So mate, dream come true really, first of all, because I've wanted one of these for so long. So this, mm. uh, my Alfa Romeo 4C, uh, picked it up for about 36 grand. Uh, I mean, to be fair, they rare, vary now between the 35,000 and 50,000, depending on the year that you get. Yep. They come in coupe form and spider form, but they stopped production last year. And there aren't that many of them around, so they're quite rare to see. Uh, I've gone with black because I just love black and I think it works really well on this car. Um, you've got the spider style headlights, you get the option of spider headlights which are on the earlier gen ones and then you get the crystal clear headlights which are on the new ones. Now a lot of people say they prefer the look of the new ones but I don't know, I, I think these look cool. They I look quite these. retro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just makes it look a bit angry. I mean some people say it has a bit of a bug look to it but I, mean, I don't think when so. When it's following you because it, it's a very low car. Yeah. Um, it, it is quite menacing actually, yeah. um, I it's think, different. I think that's one of the things that caught me out with it is not so much how low it is, I kind of, I expected that, but how wide it is. Yeah. Um, like when you're driving down single track lanes, I mean the ones that we were just on, um, you are pretty much, there's not much either side of you. So it is a very, very wide car. Yeah. Uh, but this, so there are a couple of things that I don't have on this, which I wish I did. Uh, and I will probably fix that at some point. <laughs> um, but these are, they're just the, the kind of matte black kind of headlights, but you can get them in carbon, yeah. uh, which I think is a real winner. Although I, the more and more I think about it, the more I'm thinking to make these gloss black like the rest of the car. That would look nice. I think that would look really, really cool. You kind of blend into the rest of the bodywork. Yeah, ex exactly that. Um, also carbon mirrors are something that I don't have, but then to be fair, because these are pretty much they're the same mirrors as the Fiat 500 and the Abarth 500 because it's FCA. Ah, yeah, of course. So I could just get some Abarth mirror caps. Yeah, and yeah. There you go. My my audience will be happy. Um, it has got the telly dial wheels, which are the wheels to get if you buy this car. Yeah, um, definitely. And a telly dial in the sense of the you know you make phone calls with it. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. If you remember the old phones, you yeah. Kind of go in, yeah. Oh, or that's you, weird. Yeah, it's cool. All the newest subscribers who are like below, I guess, twenty will be like, "What are you talking about, mate?" <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's really cool. And these are the wheels to get, in my opinion, if you're going to get this car. Um, it is very light, so it's like 895 kilos, which is nothing, which is nothing. and it has 240 horsepower, a 1.7 litre turbocharged engine, which power to weight ratio, when you compare it, is actually pretty much the same as an M2 competition, Blimey. which is 400 horsepower. Yeah. So that kind of gives you a, a kind of a, an idea as to how much power to weight this thing has. It's about four, four to four and a half seconds to 60 as well. Yeah. Which, yeah. comparing mad. that to my Golf R, is pretty neck and neck, considering yeah. this has well, probably about 50 to 70 brake horsepower, horsepower less. But the thing is with this as well, which is which uh, it's so raw, so you feel everything. I mean, it's got an entire carbon tub, yep. uh, which we'll show in a second. Carbon tub. Uh, the only other real cars that have carbon tubs are McLarens, and they are, they're not exposed either, so the entire carbon tub is exposed, which is great because it means it's really light, but also it means that it's quite loud. Yeah. Um, you've also got the, uh, the engine at the back, so it's directly behind your, your rear windscreen. 
noticeable, which basically means that everything is so noticeable. You can see it here, don't mind my pink towel. That's perfect know. for a takeaway, so it'll keep it nice and warm, won't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, although, do you know, we were having a joke earlier. If I wanted to grab all oh, three yeah. of those cameras, <laughs> this is how I must do it. I have to rest on my head. How about that? And look at that. What a wally. Yeah. <laughs> which is, which is, the, but that's the point, really. Is, I mean, so there's the engine 1.7, looks really, really nice. I like, I like how it's a bit of a showpiece. It is, and you can see it kind of exposed through the top of that, which is very ah, cool. that's nice, yeah, yeah. Uh, but just going back to the point of looking like a Wally, you're right, but <laughs> again, it goes back to the fact as why you buy this car. Um, I bought this car because I'm fortunate enough to have a second car to daily. I would struggle to daily this car personally, but this is more about the experience and it's more of an event when you drive it. Uh, if, you, if you, anyone who likes raw power cars, this there is you exactly go. that, yeah. Um, I've got the race exhaust on mine. Uh, so you can get the sport exhaust or the race exhaust. Race exhaust is pretty much a non-res all the way through, which is the one you have to get. My only criticism is the pea shooter-like exhaust tips. Uh, I'm mm. not really a fan of the exhaust tips personally, so I might have to look at doing something different it's with It's got to be done. We're YouTubers, right? Yeah, We've know, got to have you, an exhaust. Yeah. Loud exhaust. Yes. yes. <laughs> but, yeah, but other than that, I think it looks gorgeous. It it, really it's a does. lovely looking car. It's yeah. very elegant. And I love how you've got the silver wheels because it's, it's quite a menacing spec and it... Yeah it makes it really quite clean cut with the silver wheels and the red calipers. Yeah, because a lot of people go black or the dark gray wheels. Uh, I've got a friend of mine called Mark. I mean, your audience might know him, Triple AMF. Yeah. Um, and he, he's got the dark gray wheels on his. And I watched I that video, it, yeah. And I asked my audience, which ones you prefer? And actually, a lot of people say they prefer it in silver yeah. because you don't see them that much anymore. And they're, they're a lovely design. Yeah. And if they were kind of a darker color, then you kind of, you, you kind of lose that style, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, you do. I mean, looking at the interior, if I open that door, I'll come around the other side for you. Let's have a little look in here. It's very stripped down. See what I mean about that carbon tub? Yeah, it's, it's an absolute work of art. It's completely exposed and it kind of just wrapped. The whole car is built around the carbon tub. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the seat's kind of very lightweight. There's not much flexibility in the seat, so you kind of can move them forward or backwards. That's pretty much it. Um, we've got the latest Halfords Edition stereo, which is actually the <laughs> cool. upgraded. That's the upgraded version. Does that have CarPlay? Uh, no, 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 but I've got a little wire in here so I can put a USB stick in it. That's Brilliant. as far as it goes, really. Um, but yeah, you've got digital display dash as well. If you flick the key, you can see that. The steering wheel, again, very minimalistic steering wheel in the sense that you don't have much on it. You've got paddle shifts. We've got the Alpha DNA system, dry, uh, dynamic, natural, all weather. And then if you hold it on, you've got race, which basically turns all the traction control off and really is only recommended for the track, although we used it in the video I did on my channel. It's quite hilarious. <laughs> that was hilarious, actually. Um, but yeah, mate, that, that's pretty much it because because there isn't actually much in the car. Yeah, what I like about it, it's it's not complicated, it's not over-designed. What you've got in here, you've got the essentials, the bare essentials, you've got a proper handbrake, you've got no distracting buttons, just some paddle shifters, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, it's pure, it's the purest car, that's what Definitely. it is. Definitely. And that's very cool. Yeah, I mean, how cool is that? I reckon you should have a go, mate. I, well, first, I think let's get out, uh, you drive first. No problem. Learn a little bit more about the car. Yep. Um, kind of talk through some plans while you bought it, bits of bobs, and then we shall uh, switch over and, uh, well, give me the keys. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right, let's do that. <laughs> let's hit the road. Right, here we go. <laughs> it flies this thing. <laughs> Quick, isn't it? It's a little go kart. <laughs> Absolutely love it. It's a very loud go kart. It is. It's so involving. Though. This reminds me of when I went in Tim Senna. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. That was a good video. I'll, I'll have that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just very loud in here. But yeah. you don't buy this car for it to be luxurious. No. And, and that's Easy what, like, like I was saying earlier, the real, the real winner in this scenario is uh, the driver, in the sense yeah. that from a passenger perspective, you're, you'd much rather be in a passenger seat of any car but this. Mm -hmm. But the driver, the driving experience, the involvement, that's exactly what this is all about. And it's amazing, mate. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> And for a 1.7 litre engine as well, and I think that's a lot of thing that gets people, they're like, oh, is that it? Like 24 yeah. hours, is that it? Yeah, 1.75 litre. I mean, as you just said, I mean, we had quite a bit of traction control kick in there. We right? did, if, if you get it in one go and you get all the power delivered to the rear wheels, because it is rear wheel drive, yeah. it just goes, I yeah. mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, it weighs less than a ton. Yeah, 895. Yeah, so the um, power to weight ratio must be ridiculous. Yeah. If you go right. If you go right. 
I was actually doing a little bit of Googling before filming today. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a bit of Google. A bit of Googling, because like I don't know much about this car, I'll be honest. Yeah. And I was surprised with the 060, it's yeah. like four to 4.5 seconds, yeah. which is basically on par with my Golf R. Yeah. And my Golf R's sub 300 horsepower. Yeah. Because it's so loud, we've got the yeah. engine rubber. I mean, yeah. it is hot in here. It's very That's hot. That's the only here. thing that I would try and fix. Uh, yeah. to the seat. It is warm, in fact, we'll the window a little bit more. Yeah, why not? But um, uh, it is a manual, yeah, get rid of hair. But the, the noise, the double clutch, everything on this just works. <laughs> and that it turbo amazing. whistle, yeah, yeah that you turbo whistle. You get a lot of turbo whistle from the exhaust really? as well as from right behind you. You know what it is as well, because I'm um, just over the, the uh, if you look in the mirrors, you can see the, the, all the air intakes on yes. this thing. Um, because they're just, they're right over your, your ear. So when you come off and you hear the wastegate close, you just get uh, that, that induction yeah, yeah. noise. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so um, how long have you had this? I'm pretty sure it's not that long. Is no, it? it's not. So I've had this now for, where are we? We're in and end of May-ish. Uh, so it's coming up just about two months. Wow. I've not had it long, not wow. had it long. Um, and I mean, the decision really to buy this car was, I mean, you know, you, you remember that I was, uh, I had the Abarth on my drive. Yeah. I'm really kind of into Italian cars, which ironically I wasn't a few years ago. Yeah. The Abarth kind of got me in there and being exposed to the yeah. Italian scene um, just made me I admire this car in particular yeah. because of how raw it is and uh, and it just makes for such a great drive. Yeah. Such a great drive. Uh, right here? Yep, yeah, yeah, right here. The key Directing you around here. Uh, follow around? Yeah, follow around. Follow We've got around. a nice little underpass which is uh, oh, yeah, a yes, well, little bit of fun yeah, We'll slow right down for that. <laughs> And it's been a dream for you, hasn't it? Oh, it is. It literally is a dream come true. I mean, listen, listen to the exhaust as well. And this is a race exhaust. It's standard. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dude, insane, isn't it? That is unbelievable. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the thing is, it's so bloody wide as well. That yeah. was a Range Rover that was there. <laughs> it's so wide, but it means that it sticks so well to the corners as yeah. well. Um, and I think the... the, the you get the best out of this car if you can get it on some form of a race track. Yeah, sure. That really is the place you really want it because, um, and the reason that um, I don't know, if we, I don't think we've mentioned yet, but um, if you buy one of these out of the box, uh, the steering is an yes, interesting yeah. challenge with it. Um, so you need to do a couple of changes. That Alpha works through the geometry package upgrade on it, which transforms the car. But even here, I think it's mainly us here in the UK really suffer. I mean, through these back oh, roads yeah. here, you can feel the steering still try and tug a little bit. Yeah. But I think ultimately. It adds to the character of the car and it really makes you as a driver really you got to drive yeah. yeah i mean how many cars nowadays do you drive without power steering completely unassisted yeah. and actually you have to really be involved yeah in it? exactly not many Yes, I think <laughs> Swap it over and uh, we definitely should have a little first drive because it just is, there's nothing like it. No, there is. We probably do a little quick launch control before we turn Ooh, into, little launch. into the area. Should we do a race launch? Ooh, why not, my friend? Let's do a race launch. Yeah. Oh, when those turbos kick in. It's insane, isn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's nuts. It's quick, isn't it? And on that note, your turn. Well, let's have a little swap. <laughs> Mad man for giving me the key. No, it's all right. <laughs> you got to enjoy. You got to embrace it. Experience this it. This carbon tub is amazing. Like we were saying, how the only other car that really has it is like McLaren. Yeah, McLaren. Hundreds of thousands. Yeah, and the thing is as well with the McLarens is they're not exposed either. So interesting. Yeah, they're only like yeah, slight minimal. little bits. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this, you're just surrounded by carbon fiber. Yeah. I like how raw it is. Like we were saying, like you got a yeah old-fashioned key. Yeah. Really basic. In. Normal handbrake, yeah. You've got just a few little buttons yeah. for the different You've drive modes and bits. Analog air related Look stuff. At that. It's just <laughs> old school, right there. It needs to go right down because it gets yeah. so hot in here because the engine is literally, literally there. behind us. Yeah. So we're all sorted. Yeah. Uh, Trying to pull your seat forward a bit. <laughs> I don't 
I think I actually do. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Right, so the thing with this car, the most controversial thing is the steering, yeah. I think. Um, and how when we're stable, it is a bit of a workout. Yeah. But when you're moving it, it's, it's all right. like amazing. Yeah. So, take that out of auto. And first, get a little handbrake. Start moving and then turn. And then turn. There we so, go. There you go, so you've got the knack of it now. Yeah. Now, we've just been filming a video for your channel, so I've yeah. been out in the car for a little while as well. It's very loud yeah. in here. It is. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, no, take that back. We've just been out in the car as well. Yeah, we, <laughs> well, we have. Not this yeah. video. Yeah, it's still very loud. <laughs> it's still very it? loud. Yeah. Um, now, instantly, this steering when you're moving is so direct. It's almost light. Yeah. It's it amazing. Is. You've got that little digital dash in front, which is actually kind of a luxury. As it is. As luxurious as it gets. But well, the, the funny thing is as well, is that they started doing digital dashes back in 2013. Which is quite early days. Yeah. And yeah. they had it on the Alpha 4C. Yeah. And it's pretty good actually. Yeah. Pretty funky. And obviously that changes between what driving modes you Yeah, need. exactly. We're in dynamic at the moment, so yeah. you get a bit more of a, a feel. It's so responsive. <laughs> anyway, let's back in some corners. Down in a second. It firms up as you turn, doesn't it? And it flies. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean about that steering. So you've got to be at it. You've got to drive it. Yeah. You don't just sit there and think, oh, what a lovely day. You've got to really focus. Because if you go over a bump, you're yeah. like, yeah, exactly. Really that. Off. Yeah, because otherwise it will try to drive you. Yes. Yeah. But I think, I, I, and again, I think it depends on personal preference. Some people may not like that. But again, if you're if you're a driver and you enjoy that kind of thing and you want to manhandle a car, yeah. this is one for you. Exactly. Yeah. I love the sounds it makes. Glorious. The downshifts are actually really. Oh, a bit of ventilation there. Yeah. They're really responsive. Yeah. Right, we've got some speed bumps now. Now you'll be all right taking that straight. No, no, it's no split. It's a bit. Of, it's, it's a bit of rubber stuck on my staple. <laughs> uh, and the idea behind it is, is that they uh, it gives you an idea if you are too close to something, so you don't damage the nose. Ah, I see. See that? Oh, that's is not, that what that yeah, was? Yeah. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It's, it's, it's a very low driving position, isn't it? It is. You're right down on the floor. Yeah. And you're saying. That's fine. All right. <laughs> we'll get back later that, on, and there'll be <laughs> nothing left of the car. I would be dead. Nah, you'd be fine. <laughs> fine. I just, it's such an occasion to drive. Yeah. Spit it in here. Got to do another manoeuvre. Yeah, like a manoeuvre. But no, you're right, that's exactly what this is. And like, we go back to the performance stats of this thing. Mm. I'm genuinely quite shocked with, yes, how almost little horsepower it's got, but just how not only you can use the power all the time, especially yeah. seeing it's rear wheel drive, yeah. but also like how quick it is because it's so light. Yeah, and I think I think in the in a day and age nowadays where you know every, all all the car manufacturers are you know puffing their chests out, boasting about how, how much power their cars have got. Yeah, this kind of goes back all the way to just the fact that when they built this, they said. We just want to make a lightweight car that's enjoyable to drive yeah. and we're not going to put a big engine in it. In fact, we're not going to put a new engine because this is the same engine from the Giulietta Quadrifoglio. Oh, okay. Uh, Giulietta QV, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So they pulled that straight out and said we need to make that much faster and we're going to do that by using lightweight panels and materials. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the carbon tub is one thing, but all the panels are like a composite material. So they're not uh, even like aluminium or none of that stuff. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is literally as light as you'll get. Nothing spared. And that's amazing, really. Yeah. Oh, and then obviously you get the acceleration on the back of it. Oh, it does. <laughs> it, it doesn't completely go, but it lets you have a little bit of fun. It does. There you go, enjoy it. Absolutely <laughs> flies. It's bad, isn't it? It's ridiculous. It just makes you smile. Yeah, stop here and do a little launch while you're at it. Why is it Get the full experience. I'm gonna do a launch up a hill. Yeah, we'll probably get more traction that way. Probably will actually. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's quite dynamic. a simple launch. Yeah, it's like you're similar to your Golf R. Just so, left on the brake, off you go, you're in dynamic. Dynamic. Foot to floor. And. <laughs> See how, how it bites the gears as it well. It really goes. Yeah. Mate, this is so much fun. How do you not like give in to driving this daily. <laughs> but you know, I think, I think, I think it's for someone like you now. Yeah, see, so you love it, didn't you? 
someone like you now getting it, you, you mentioned it earlier, it is an event, it's an occasion. Yeah. I think, like with anything, it's like with your favourite meal, if you have that every day, yeah, you, you start to think, yeah. ah, fancy something else now. True, I know what you mean. I but know what you but mean. The, the moment you do get in this car, it just lights a smile on your face. It does, it. yeah, 100%. It is like nothing I've ever driven yeah. before. Um, yeah. Actually, uh, at the start of this video, I kind of hinted on the kind of a story behind the Alpha 4C. Now, my uncle used to own one. It wasn't the launch edition. Uh, I remember it was bright red, silver wheels like yeah. this. Yeah. And he had it, and he took me out on it one day. I was, I must have been probably about 15 or 16. And I was like, this is mental. Um, and I actually made a video about it yeah. back in the day. There is a video on my channel somewhere. If I can find it, I'll overlay um, some little pictures of it. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, awesome car. And that's the only experience I've had yeah. in a 4 I didn't drive it. Yeah. Um, and I loved it. Absolutely yeah. loved it. We were saying off camera as well, you do not see these cars. No, they're so rare. Yeah. They are so rare. But I mean, from a... I mean, you've, you've got a very quick car in the form of a Golf R. There it is. There it is, <laughs> right there, exactly. But the, the turbo spools and everything, it's so raw, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And like, just... Yeah. It properly throws you around. <laughs> properly throws you around. Well, I'm really glad, I'm glad that you're... I mean, it's, all, it's nice for me as well to see people smiling when they drive yeah, this car. Yeah, sure, yeah. Because I do it every time I'm in it, and it's just, it's wicked. No, honestly, you've got a, you've got a treasure here. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Absolute beast. So thank you very much for letting me hoot around this thing. You're welcome. Unleash it one more time. But there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Absolute oh, stone chips. And that's the other thing as well. So that's that's there's no issues there. But because there's a, it's carbon fiber, anything stones in the road, they touch on the bottom. You can yeah. hear them. I love that. Yeah, just. Nothing. <laughs> Wicked, but let's park up, yeah. round off the video. No, what an experience. And what a first episode there you go, mate. of Dream Drives. Yeah. I want one of these, man. Cool, isn't it? Wow, it's, it's so insanely cool. Insanely cool. And it's cool and dynamic as well. It lets the bag go a little bit. I've got a bit of an issue here. Oh, <laughs> Engine neutral. Handbrake on. Engine off. There you go. Dude. Been a pleasure. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. Right, let's hop out. Yeah. Get a bit of air because it's bloody hot in here. It's roasting. <laughs> it is roasting. Getting out is also a challenge. Yes, it is actually. You've got to think about it and definitely don't want to hit that carbon tub. Oh, crikey. Mate, what an experience driving that car. What a way to start off this series. Dream Drives is now officially open. So it's a thing now, cut yeah? Cut the tape, cut the scissors away. Yeah, it's a it's thing. A thing. It's, it's a thing. It's a oh, thing. it's happening. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> um, dude, thank you so much for coming down. We Very also welcome, filmed mate. a video on your channel. Yeah, we did. We did a bit of a car swap. That was quite fun. So I gave him the keys to my Golf R and you also gave me the keys again, <laughs> the second time, yeah. uh, to the 4C and we had a lot of fun doing that. We did. Uh, a few launch controls and bits above. So I'll leave Steph's link down in the description down below for you guys to go check out. I'm sure you already subscribed to him because we've done a few little bits in the past before. Um, but yeah, some awesome content going over there, especially with the 4C. Thank you. Um, it's a wicked car. It Absolutely is. wicked car. But anyway, Glad you enjoyed it, mate. Oh, mate, it was unbelievable. Um, so yeah, that's going to round up the first episode of Dream Drives. If you do want to get in touch um, to bring your car along and to feature in the, uh, in the series, then uh, just drop a comment down below or get in touch uh, on email or Instagram or anything. There'll be links down in the description as well. Um, then feel free because uh, I really want to make this series another thing to go alongside Hot Hatch Head to Head. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be good fun. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures 